how can you withdraw your r130 petition case if you want to know something about that just stay tuned and i'll be right back usa Monda. hello everybody this is john from usa Monda. welcome back and thanks for watching if it's your first time on my channel as always welcome today i have another video for you guys and like i say in the introduction how can you withdraw your i want to repetition case or oh, you know that when you make a decision to bring your spouse to the united states of america to live with you permanently you have to file an i want to repetition for for him or her if you make a decision to bring your children to come to the united states of america to live with you permanently you have to file an i want to repetition for them right or oh, same thing with your parents you want to you know bring them to united states of america so they can live here as a permanent resident you have to file i want the repetition even your siblings but the thing is uh, when you make a decision you start a process or uh, you file your i want the repetition case and uh, you send it to uscis you're gonna wait so uh, you know the i want to is approved and then uh, you can move uh, forward with the case right but if you change it change your mind and uh, you're like, you know what, uh, this person, uh, I filed it, I want the repetition for, uh, I don't want to sponsor that person no more. Or maybe it's your spouse, but things happen. You guys um, broke up and you want to withdraw the, I want the repetition case. Yes, there is a way uh, you can do that. And that's what today's video is about, okay? When you file the, I want the repetition, even uh, something change, uh, you have option. Don't feel like you don't have option or uh, like I say, uh, things happen, maybe you don't have money, you just don't want to uh, petition the uh, intending immigrant no more. What you're going to do, you're going to send a, um, uh, a statement to uh, USCIS. If the case still at USCIS, uh, uh, the, the first thing you're going to do, make sure on the statement, you're going to write your, your name, your date of birth, uh, the name of the relative and uh, his or her date of birth. And also, you have to put on uh, the receipt number, the receipt number you receive from USCIS. When you file the petition, you're going to put a receipt number on the statement and then write a statement, the reason why you want to withdraw the case, okay? That's how you do it. Just, uh, just uh, like I say, uh, just a piece of paper or you can write in a Word document and uh, you put all those information on the paper and then uh, submit it to um, uh, USCIS, okay? And then USCIS will uh, respond to your request and uh, you know let you know that uh, okay your your case is withdrawn. But if they don't uh, you know respond to your 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 request, you know and it's taking longer. All you gotta do is uh, just uh, find uh, uh, an attorney, an immigration attorney, uh, to help you withdraw your case. Okay. But you know let's say um your or uh, the i want the petition is approved and then you make a decision uh, to withdraw you still can do that okay you still can do that as long as uh, your the relative doesn't uh, get uh, his or her green card as long as the relative doesn't uh, get uh, his or her uh, immigrant visa you still can withdraw your i want the on petition case okay so if you are somebody somewhere right now who on uh, petition for your relative and then you change your mind to withdraw the on uh, the uh, i want the petition case yes there is a way you can do that like uh, i just mentioned in this video okay that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from me. if you know somebody who needs to watch this video please share with that person if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more video like this one all you got to do is click on this once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. USA Monday.